Today we're looking at stretching watercolor paper. It's a matter of wetting it, letting it expand, and then taping it down onto a rigid backing board. I'm going to be using what we call masonite, which is a man-made fiber board. And I would suggest using a rigid board, a wood base or something which is quite firm. You might find cardboard would be too flimsy and it might buckle and bend in, it, in itself. So I would suggest something stronger, we wet the paper, we put it down, we tape it down with gum strip, and then when it dries, it shrinks and tightens up. Here we go. You ideally need board, which obviously is bigger than your watercolor paper. And I'm gonna be using 300 gram watercolor paper, which is quite robust. It's quite thick already, but it will still buckle. And there's lots of watercolor or water put on there. It will buckle. So you need, to ideally, I would suggest taping it down. I would suggest stretching it. And this is the process of stretching it. It's quite, it's quite easy. It's actually very easy, but you will need a wood base or a strong base, and you will need what we call gum strip paper. It's the old fashioned packing paper. I got this online. You will probably have to buy this online. It is quite difficult to get hold of these days where it used to be much more available, and depending where you live. But this is the gum strip paper. It's quite cheap, quite easy. You can only use it once and it has a glue base. So you would glue it down. I'm using, I've got thin up gum strip and thicker gum strip. But I think because of the size of this paper, I'm going to be using the thinner gum strip paper. You could pre draw, you could draw your idea, your, your concept before you wet the, the paper, of course, if you wanted to. And of course, you might not want to draw at all. You might want to just work on this stretched paper. So let's go. We're going to now wet the paper. And it's a process of literally wetting it, put running it under a tap. And you'll see it's quite buckled, still quite wet. And I'm going to use some of that wet to moisten the back of my gum strip paper. I'm going to get rid of some of the surplus water. You don't have to, but the ideally you do need it to be wet, but not too, too wet. Quite often what I do is once I've made it wet under the tap, I'll put it on the wall or the tiles of the bathroom and I'll sort of squeegee some of the excess water off it. But you do want it quite wet when you put it on your board so that A, it's expanded and B, so your gum strip paper will stick down. If need be, you might need to add some more moisture, some more wet as I'm doing here some more wet behind the gum strip paper to make sure it sticks down. And I'm just using it, just taping over the edge of the paper, purely because I want as much paper to work with as I can possibly have. Again, here I'm using the, the water from the paper to moisten the gum strip and just taping it down. It's still quite buckled. You can probably see the edges are still quite buckled. And that's because it's expanded. And once it's taped, you let it dry, you leave it to dry and it'll get quite firm. It should actually get firm. And it means that when you work with a lot of watercolor, the paper might buckle again, but it'll always come back to that shape. So stretch your watercolor paper, regardless, I think of the weight of that paper. Follow these instructions, very easy to do. And you've got something ready to paint on. All the best.